All right, this is Project Nimbus. Wooly, I see that you are ready to pilot your tiny anime girl. She's... Piloting her big robot. Yeah. I also saw in the options menu that there are two language options being English and Thai. So I'm going to assume this game is from out from Thailand. That's a decent assumption. I also know that there's some crazy ass voice acting going on based on the trailers I've seen. Oh really? So let's see where this fucking goes, shall we? Alright, well why don't we start with Act 1? Oh, they're all just there. Oh, gamer recommended or prepare to die. Or casual. Gamer recommended. <laughs> Why don't you try that? Well, this is just the tutorial, so it shouldn't be too tough. Yeah, we'll find out. I just want to see... Oh, okay. Alright, so we're doing this. I'm doing this with my, my pad, because that's what I like. Yep. And there we go. So, big strafes. Move upwards by pressing a button. That would be... Hmm. Triangle. I bet it would be. You think so? Oh, it is triangle. Yeah, you're right. And A. Zoe? Yep. Yeah. It's just Zoe. It's Zoe. Space bar to quick boost. That'd probably be... Uh... R2? No. Uh... RB? Oh, no, it is... No, it, it is, uh... It's L... L... Yeah, it's L2. Okay. Uh, space plus A. So then... Just boost left. Yeah, right, right. Space plus triangle, space plus down, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right click, I'm gonna assume that's click the stick. No, it's LB. LB. This is really very much like so. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty in there. But it has actually more like armored core stylings. Press two to switch the missile, two. Okay. D-pad? Uh Yep. Yeah. Love you, D-pad. This one to switch to gun. Yep. Good, good. Oh, no, not not uh, not Armored Core. I'm thinking of Ace Combat. Oh, with, okay. With the hit icons and stuff like that. Shoots the gun. I like I like how you, yeah, we're pretty much able to just guess where these are mapped. Because Zoe was good, right. Because they're mapped to where they should be. Zoe was right about mech control. Period. Done and done. If the future becomes a place where people are holding controllers... Oh, Flare. Well, you're... Uh, you fired those off before. Let's see. Fire the Flare. Nope. Nope. B? Worst case scenario was well, you could always hit start and just check your button layout like you did before. That's true, too. There we go. What was it? L3. Of course it was. Obviously. Well, you're gonna be have to, like, there's been a lot of mecha representation, right? And it's it's ranged from the dumbest control method possible, which is like an actual dual shock for the car in Men in Black 2. Yeah. Yeah. To uh, like tele telepathic like body control and like Evangelion or like a Pacific Rim. To I guess they want me to kill everyone because I'm, 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 it's not getting your movie My, this my absolute most hated asinine method of mech control, which was Gundam Wing, in which the only things you do to control the mech are move to sliding yeah, left yeah, and right yeah. next to you. Oh man, you probably wouldn't be a fan of G Gundam. Oh, why is that? Because that has, like, it's basically them hooked up to almost mocap. Well, that's fine. And it's a big uh, dome where they're just kind of, like, doing the in actual... The neck. Yeah, they're doing actual that, martial that's arts. That's fine. The, the problem I had with Gundam Wing is, like... Two levers well, can't possibly you, convey everything. They don't even hit buttons. There's, there's, foot, there's foot pedals, too. Good news and bad oh! News here. Which one do you want first? Foot pedals. Bad one first. I like stories with a happy ending. We've got a new pilot from Top Gun. Call sign Skull One. You'll be with us in we'll the sortie one. today. And the good news, General? That's an anime skull. It seems that the terrorist group called Children of Fallen Nations has acquired a lot of serious hardware. How is this the good news? <laughs> S20 Shilka, MI19 Strelke, Drone S14, uh, something that means shrimp. These are all flying relics. For them, this is very good stuff. Where are these Even things better, standing? They chose our it's a little, to show little computer toys. hologram. Right here, Taipei 3 Colony, near the border. Just a little bit to the west is UCN territory. 
the troop station there only text this? them once. Text glowing so loud, so hard you can't read it. Call sign Bravo one. Everything about okay, this presentation well, is just like one. Ace Combat to the absolute General nth General degree. Like the logos, nice the Long fake countries they're talking about, the work. dialogue. Questions. What's for dinner tonight? <laughs> the weird. Oh god, what was the fucking quote? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. There, is... there, there was a, there was a fucking quote. A million years ago, of like one of the Ace Combat guys talking to Jeff Gersman about Ace Combat Six, and in which he, in which the phrase was discussed, in that they were aware that the sincerity levels of Ace Combat storytelling were high. Mm. That there was like, a weird form of over sincereness. I mean, I think I think we were calling it out in the tech end story mode with the journalist parts. As uh, as being like really and and then combat and then later I found a term that was um, I'm not sure where it came from but people started to refer to that type of storytelling as the strange reel okay and I'm like starting with the end the big eyed anime girl at the front of the title screen this couldn't be less what I expected in tone like if you just Change that to a plane. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You're super right. And I, I, I dig it. Oh, man. There's some insane Z fighting happening down there. That's what I'm looking for. Just blow it all up. Oh, this colony's insanely high in the air. Oh, man. These are like... I hope there's no... I hope people aren't in these buildings. No way, man. They all evacuated, or, or, the 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 colony wasn't finished yet. I absolutely love. Oh, we're looking at. Yeah, there we go. I absolutely love like the missile evasion warning, and then you look at the little thing, and there are like forty little triangles. Yes, this is an Atano circus from like not anime POV. Okay, there we go. Oh man, I miss Ace Combat. I hope Ace Combat 7 is just as stupid and weird as all the other ones. I also need to go rewatch Macross Plus. It's been, it's is, been hey, a while. Hey, is Macross dead? Uh, I, I heard that there was some kind of rights thing with Macross that fucked it up recently. Hmm, I don't know. I haven't heard about that. Shit. Oh well. Just watch a bunch of missiles jerk each other off. I mean, there's a whole bunch of it still around, so you can always go back and... There's always more. There's always more you haven't seen. Unlike, yeah, I mean, uh, much like uh, Gundam and any other long-running mecha series, you, uh... Don't worry. There's more for you. There's more for me. Enemy strike force is imminent. Oh, they're coming in. Hold left shit for bullet time. Try it whenever you like was the actual thing. Bullet time. Left shift. There it is. What button is that? Uh, L1. And it's... Eh, it could use a couple extra of effects. Well, you know what I mean? Th I think the main weird thing is that... Do it again? Okay, it does deplete a meter, but it depletes very slowly. But there should be like a... Boom. You know I what know, I mean? I think you're actually supposed to use it like semi-often. I think you're supposed to use it to like maybe shoot missiles out of the air. Perhaps. Like, I just it, it, it could use a little bit of polish. And let me ask you. I, I There are two major types of bullet time that I can think of right now. Yeah. And they're basically defined as Max Payne 1 and Max Payne 2. Okay. Uh, have you played both of those games? Uh, I played Max Payne 1. Okay, so in Max Payne 1, when you shoot bullet time, the only thing that changes is your character's perception increases. Yeah. Right? Your, your, everything slows down, including your own movement. Yeah, but you get the, the time to aim. And then Max Payne 2, your aiming is, is faster? No, in Max Payne 2, you start bullet time like that, but every time you kill someone, your character returns to like, normal speed. Yeah, so eventually okay. you hit normal speed. Okay. I, everyone else is stuck in bullet time. Yeah, and, yeah, And yeah, it yeah. is just absolutely ridiculous. No, that's a, that, that's crazy OP, but like, uh, or OD as they say now. Yeah. But uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say... Um, those are the real two type, the real two categories. All to right. me, the real two categories are Max Payne One, where my ma like if I'm moving my mouse around, it's still slow. I cannot look directly behind me 
in the time frame that it's that I'm in bullet time. Okay, so like uh, almost like super hot. And then exact, and then the other kind where it's like no, 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 you absolutely can uh, uh, re-adjust your aiming while you're in bullet time. You know, so so it's like bullet time as a power is really just about perception versus bullet time allowing you to like shoot people that you couldn't shoot in the time frame that that. that uh, is, you've been given. Because here, I mean, when you go into bullet time, like, you're you're closer to a dead stop. But I, this is this is magic. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the ability to, like, rotate my reticle like that is something that, like, you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. I remember I beat Max Payne 1 on a controller on the play... I, I The first time I played was on the PS2. And, like, bullet time, like, made that port possible. Hmm. Like if if that if that game did not have bullet time, like the, playing that on a controller would be like functionally unbeatable because you just didn't have the time. I uh, I still am like amazed at their oh shit their 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 discussion on like how multiplayer bullet time should work or could work. Yeah, how? Because I played games in multiplayer bullet time. The only way to do it is like, okay, they're like, no way. What do we do? Can we do we slow down the server? Do we make it an uh, 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 a bubble where everyone inside of it is affected by this power? What you know what I mean? Well, there's a couple ways to actually do it. The, the easiest way is that everyone else is slowed, but you move normally. Right, right. But that doesn't give the player the feeling of actual bullet time. Right. Uh, alternatively, I played co-op games like Killing uh, Killing Four, which do have uh, proper bullet time in it, but it's a co-op game. And what happens is, just every now and then, bullet time just activates when it needs to, and everyone in the server just gets like five seconds of bullet time to use with as they will. So it's it's, it's just it's shared. Yeah, it's it's the it's the whole game slows down. Okay, yeah. But you're only playing against zombies, so who cares, right? Right. Okay. I really gotta get some Killing Floor Two games in. That game's great. I remember thinking about Killing Floor One and be like, why would I have to play that instead of playing Left 4 Dead One? And then I was like, oh, I actually prefer Killing Floor way more. Hmm. Yeah. I. I uh. That, yeah, and, and that's in that PVE scenario or like PVE. Like, it's like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, Are you hitting him? Is he inside? Let's oh, see. I think he's underneath. That's why. There we go. Oh, that's... Okay, that's useful shit. It actually gives you the big hit marker. Oh, you got more guys coming in. Okay. Am I alone out there? What's going on? Yeah, you're alone. Okay. No one, no one matters but you, Skull. Only you. Do you have a missile counter, by the way? Uh, it, there's, there's, a, there's the, there's the, the. Here, let me see. Yeah, you see it in the bottom right there. Oh, but it recharges. And it recharges exactly. Oh, thank God. Yeah. There yeah. are some Ace Combat missions where you start with like. So in Ace Combat, it takes two or three missiles to kill almost every everything normal yeah. plane or thing in the entire game. Which it should, right? Because that's what a plane can do with hand. So, so you handle. you get into the you get into the um, the feeling of lock on pop pop. Good job, man. Right, lock yeah. on pop pop. Because occasionally they'll oh, miss. Or yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's the first one to damage, the second one to fire. So you all start a mission Welcome with like Mitchell, Lieutenant Colonel Morgan 120 King. missiles. And you're like, Colonel yeah. Edmund and then you get to the Captain end, the and you're like, I don't have. I straight up picked the wrong control. plane. I don't have enough missiles Mitchell for this. Yeah. To, to kill all the enemies. That need to kill. See, I used to play Chuck Yeager's Air Combat, which is like old guy pilot, old guy dogfighting. So missiles are a fucking privilege. Yeah. You know, you, it was all about your 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 tail and your and your aim and your guns. Because goddamn, if you waste that missile and then something else comes around your the corner and you don't have the ability to fight it off, you're fucked. We are not the only kid in the block. Right now, the We are not the only kid in the block. You hear that? They're doing the best with what they have. This is great. Oh, we gotta get the prototype battle frame. Zooming in on this? Yeah. <laughs> it couldn't mean less. Yeah. 
other pilot now should be waiting for you in the cockpit. I appreciate the the, the, the English casting though. Dude. As opposed to like Dude. I you wanna know. ask you a question. Yeah. To Terry Bogarting it. PSX or E3 comes on and it's like from software. And then directed by Hidetaka Miyazaki. And it's just armored core. Like well, why not? They've done mecha games before. Well oh. <laughs> No, it's not no, no no. And then you you zone in and it's like it's an armored core that's stalking oh. through a techno city. And through an open world. Well, here's yeah. here's the deal. Something that you may not actually realize because it might be too long. You know that, like, armored core and, like, demon souls have, like, the same control scheme? Hmm, yeah. Shoulder buttons. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah, yeah, sure. They just have the same control scheme. All you have to do is change the size of stuff. Blade. You have to figure out... Oh look! You, oh look, Zoe! Oh look, it's the Moonlight Greatsword! Would you like to try using the blade? Would you like to try using the blade, Wooly? I mean, look. It's not making the slash 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 noise, but it's doing the animation. Yeah. Oh man, I watched that bikini fucking assault clip <laughs> from from Gundam that you fucking told oh me the about. bikini babes. Oh yeah. man, yeah, that's... seeing somebody get vaporized by beam saber is raw. Because it's it's a hypothetical that you think about and you go like, oh man, how fucking crazy would that be with this technology in real in real life? Yeah, and then they actually it do it. Like, yeah, yeah, that that entire thing is ridiculous and stupid. It reminds me of I was and it, and, and, it, and but it's like it relies on your main character being an idiot, a super super weird idiot weirdo. Like, oh no, girls, switch right? Switch your railgun, Wooly. Use your D-pad to switch your railgun. It's in there somewhere. There it is. Oh my god. Uh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. look at that. Okay, but I have to I have to. Lock on for it has to load first. It's but you can fire them without locking on, so that's you. No, the moment you tap it, he fires. Yeah. So oh, you don't even have to stay on it. Five. Funnel. What is funnel? Oh god. What? Okay. Up, left, down, right. You're gonna have. You're gonna have to hit, go to the controller prompt thing. I have no idea. Shit. Uh. Yeah. That. That. Yeah. Might. Just hit start and look at the. Control. Well, start's not pausing the game oh, right no. now. So. What about escape? Yeah, hmm. that's the solution. Okay, <laughs> there might be. Uh, oh, go! You can do it. Eventually, there it yeah. is. Yeah, there might be an issue with how I many controllers are, or how many pads. Wow, why? Why can't I do anything there? I bet I. Well, can. my funnels just appeared. I bet I can do something. Oh no! Wait, where'd it go? Oh it, no! It left us. So, game not optimized for pausing. Hell no, it's not. All right. Back to resume, figure it out. The funnel's the auto deploy. So, deployed the funnel. There we go. The psychodrones will help intercept incoming missiles. I guess uh I guess they figured it out. Oh, that's the funnel. Yeah, they're going. No, they're doing their doing Oh, their, they're like options. They're doing their job. That's what that's what funnels are. Yeah. Ooh. Do you remember um uh, uh, uh... God, what's her name? Um... Anyway, remember any time new types in, 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 in Gundam would, like, have the little options that fl fly off their shit? Yeah, in, in, the, their in the stuff that I watched, they didn't get to that. Stuff. They didn't get to that? Okay. But I have seen clips from, I think, the beginning of Unicorn that... Well, dude, Zeta, Zeta has it. Oh, uh, well, I didn't get far enough into okay. Zeta then. But, yeah, no, that's what it is. It's like, it's if you're a new type, you can control these extra... Options around your your thing. Oh. Why only new types? Because it takes too much like brain. It takes power. too much brain power. Yeah, exactly. And or it's like, I guess the idea is kind of like yeah, like you control them with your new type abilities directly. Honestly, like I find it hilarious. Like, cause we just beat police knots a, a few weeks ago, right? And it's like the difference between in, 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 in like space new, space new, evolution. New, yeah, in, new in, type versus. Yeah. Kojima's version. It's like you I are gonna become a hyper like frail. Your bones are garbage. Yeah. You're gonna have organ These failure every day. Psychic power. Professor, 
You know, versus oh, you're just the same as me, but you're super, you're super strong and you have crazy cool psychic powers. You can power. you can feel the emotions of those around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the especially la ra ra ra. One of the things that I actually really dug about um, Gundam's like philosophy or whatever is like new types being used for warfare is like the most like vile perversion of like human evolution ever because, because the, it's a form of hyper empathy yeah 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 and it's being used to murder people <laughs> it, uh, exactly in a world where people were less shitty people would be able to empathize better and would be able to actually have better peace now kill them Amaro kill them all kill them while you feel their their pain yeah oh that feels like crap yeah that's why that was such a big moment you understand that, right? Yeah. Like, because he killed somebody and felt them dying in at the, his own at head. the moment, and it was and not only that, but it was like someone he cared about. Yeah. So like, they, while they, I definitely feel that they over, uh, they overuse that scene a lot. Yes, they do. And they really like milk it, and yes, it's like, they, oh yes, god damn it, we know, we know, we know, it's Lala, we know. No, it's Ra Ra. But it has really important significance because who wouldn't be fucked up by that? Like, that's your trauma. Car. No, he's got his own fucking cross to carry. Like, they, they, like, you, you... My dad hates Earth! He wants to kill them all! My, my dad wants independence, and then these guys came along, and... Well, whatever, there's retcons now to make him crazy, so fuck, fuck this entire discussion. I love... Because I, I it's, lo it's, it's, it's fun to be like, oh my god, you I, know? I love how the creator of Gundam was like, oh, all this That's arguing is stupid. Look, we're gonna put a nail in this... Let's just, be, yeah, let's just change it. <laughs> let's just make them re evil for real reels, no matter what. And you're like, okay, well, yeah, well end of discussion. The colonies were wrong. Yeah. We should never have made them. But like, but 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 Gundam fans and like and like especially people on our our subreddit and stuff, There's they love getting this back into that shit oh, as yeah. much as possible. So like, yeah, we well, he's space sympathizer, all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, but I'm not like, I'm not an asshole. You know what good people are no, and what bad are, people you, are. No, but wait, you are an asshole. Why am I an asshole? Like in general? Sure. Oh, sure. But I, but I, I'm, <laughs> yes. What I'm saying in the context of the discussion, it's very easy to see space Nazis when space Nazis are hanging out. Yeah, but I'm like, right over there. But it's like it's just colony on Australia. Right. And it's, yeah, I know. And and it's like and it's like and and you know people are like and like why are you teaming with the fuck the assholes? And I'm like obviously that's not the people that I'm talking about. No man. And you know that. You're talking about. You know you're aware of that. You're talking about the principality of Zeon that actually was like man dropping the colony wasn't enough. We gotta drop a whole asteroid onto the dinosaurs. And usually said person is like I know it's just fun lols and it's like yeah okay. <laughs> like in Zeta, there's like, oh man, the Titans. Oh, look at these dirt bags. They and love then, Earth so then, hard. And then they, then they, like. So to those of you who have not seen Gundam Zeta or whatever, right? So in the in the original series of Gundam, uh, the colonists, the space colonists, are, are painted as like more or less pure antagonists, right? Especially because they're literal, by, literal space Nazis. Because they're run by a space Nazi government. Yeah. They're authoritarian and evil and, and imperialistic. In, in Gundam Zeta. Your, your main character is a, a pure blood colony colony boy named Camille, and the Titans uh, are uh, basically a a reaction to the last war. And they're, they're the SS. They're, they are a Earth based uh, like space army that yeah. are a bunch of jackasses and are very similar in problem to the problem the colonies had in the last time. So they, they more or less switched sides. The problem is, is that the very first interaction you ever see is, is your Camille going, oh, the Titans, they're a bunch of jerks. And then a guy goes, Camille? But that guy looks like a boy. And Camille has like a fucking <laughs> mental shit fit and just starts Cam attacking he's, he's soldiers. Always, says Camille is a girl's name. Is what he says, and then yeah, he just starts punching dudes and starts attacking MPs and shit. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's a, my main character. He looks like an asshole <laughs> right now, who's really sensitive about his name. He really is. There's some Gundam fighting him. game out there that you pick Camille and he just yells out, "Camille's a man's name, yeah. and I'm a man." It's like yeah. Camille's a girl's name. He is. That's and that's fine. That you have a girl's name, but like. Look, man, Admit he's, it. he's got his own shit. All hostile battle frames in combat area neutralized. But yeah, anyway, that, that, that's the whole thing. Cannon. It's like, 
at the end of the day, well it's just like obviously in an Remember ideal situation, people will be left to left alone, and assholes from, from other places Sell really far toes, away won't try to control people that have nothing to do nation. with them. Well, that's that's what the Jennifer that's what the Carrera. biggest like well, conflict well, no. with humanity has always well, no. been was no, those fucks Today, over there the have nothing to do with us, Carrera. but they still want so us to send them money carefully. and to follow their but, rules. But fully, everyone has to do with Earth. Celestaris is a modified yeah. humans were not born in space. No, 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 I know, I know, but it's just, so what, Earth gets to tell the colonies what to do. No, ever. but there's, it's now you're never, you can never tell people so far away from you how to live their lives. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. If you sent them there. Well, that makes you evil. <laughs> That's the thing. At the end of the day, people should like. Hey, you know, listen! I literally built your house. Cool. Now you get. Thank you for my house. I. You get to tell me how to live. It, yes. Really? Never heard your parents tell you this is my house. My, my rules. rules. Sure. But the, I, but, I, but hey, hey! If the colonists don't like it, they can give the colony back and make their own colony. Advise you to stay away from her. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the the idea in general is like then you have to get into the whole thing of like, okay, are the people living here actually employees? Of Wayland Yutani, you well, know what that, I mean. Well, that, that makes it very different. I don't yeah. think that's. Is this a corporate environment where you are actually here? And then, more importantly, are we getting into the complexities of like, well, but what, what about my daughter or my son that was born on this colony? Oh, you mean employee five 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 oh, that, four three two uh, three three? You know what? I, you know what I would love? <laughs> if, like in, in in Gundam, they just come out. It's like you know the colonies are just on loan from Earth government. Or whatever the fuck, <laughs> right. right? And at some point, it's like, okay, so no, the people born here now never had lives to begin with, so they're rebelling and saying, we're taking this shit. Yeah. And it becomes a pirate thing. Bunch of thieves. You know? Really, honestly. So that's, you know, sympathetic, sympathetic okay. uh, 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 reasons all Are around. The target ship is marked in red on the radar. Fucking right space trade. <laughs> Earth is the birthplace of humanity. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just about letting people live and let live. Live and let live, bro. That's easy to say before they dropped a colony on Earth. <laughs> uh, you know, like like the I ideal world, as as fucked up as it was, the way Mars was was on uh, on Cowboy Bebop. Well, you know, yeah. Mars was all fucked up. But it was basically just another c series of countries yeah. that you could get to and visit. Oh, and same check thing. Out. Same thing with uh, the moons of Jupiter and stuff like that. They're yeah. all they're all independent states. And but the only reason that worked in Cowboy Bebop was because in Cowboy Bebop the Earth has been actively ruined. Sure, sure. And no one lives there. Anymore. But like, uh, uh, there, therefore the the, the 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 distinction between houses. like. You know, Earth was first. It doesn't matter because no, because there is no active government on Earth. But like, I'm all, but like, you know, the space future that I, there's a lot more resistance on this map. There is the space future I would like would be one where you can just visit any colony or any place or yeah. planet where you just tour and it's like, yeah, those people have their culture and their lives well, and their thing. In nearly all space fictions that like subscribe to the shit we're talking about like there is free travel between the space areas yeah there's another squadron well how do you how do you feel about the way zone of the enders deals with it in which like zone of the enders is like just the most flagrant i mean not, there's, there's not a, gundam ever isn't it yeah but there's a there's a really well terrible done. anime out there that's oh sure is like i watched and oh you watched Dolores? oh man no it wasn't Dolores. it was the other one. Oh no Double Mars or whatever? Yeah, 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 oh, that no. thing. Oh, that's bad. That's a bad one. Anyway, but yeah, go on. But in Zone of the Enders, they add just the, the one little thing of, like, the farther away from Earth, the shitter you are. Sure, sure. Oh, people from Mars shit all over people from Jupiter. You're far from Earth's light or whatever. Yes. Oh, I want to go to space so bad. Yeah, because then you, that, yeah, that, that, that shitty elitism is, is, is the other thing where, like, yeah, exactly. The, the, we start treating you like shit because you can't see the Earth, the, or the home. You know, you it makes me home. think, like, because I'm a big fan of space, personally. I love space stuff, and I want to go to space. Like, that's my, that's my ultimate number one bucket list, Yeah, which is reach, like, lower Earth orbit. And it makes me think of, like... Like, maybe this perception of, like, the politics of space really just has to do with, like, a core internal desire. And because I've been thinking about it, well, if you went to space, why would you want to go to space? 
to experience weightlessness. To okay. See, to see the majesty. Okay. See, I have a really specific reason to go to space. Okay. I want to see the whole Earth. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's, that's, yeah. And it's like, I bet you could boil down people's feelings on this topic based on, do you want to go to space to get the perspective of your home, or do you want to go to space to get out? Like, to get out there. I see. Right, because, like, I have always been entranced by the, the that photo from the 70s that they took of the, the whole Earth. Sure. You want to see the pale blue dot? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, okay. To me... That's cool, but I want to see the out there. All right, so now what we can do is we can start selecting people that have these views, and we can just put you on a rocket to the sun, <laughs> and you can have all the space you want. I mean, it's definitely it's fucking. I, I want to see seeds of space traitorism. I want to see what I've never seen, including the Earth. But then after the Earth, I want to see the rest. Well, yeah. ideally, you'd be able to see cool weird shit, but I mean, you're not going to live long enough to see any of the weird stuff. You know, like, I can Google Maps my house from here, bro. I can see it. It's really cool. It's that house I lived in. There it is. There and it is. That's like saying I can see a picture of that church in Amsterdam. No, no, no. I, I, yeah. Get me in the helicopter, let me fly over, right? And then I'll appreciate that, too. Target battle frame is disabled. But then I've seen it. The pilot is what else we got out Man there? System will what else we got out there? Nothing. You can die, then. <laughs> You've done a very nice job. Uh, this day. What, like I want my I, 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 I want my 95 yeah. year old in the fucking invalid in body yeah. thrown yeah. into space so I could see the pale blue dot before I die. Dude, there's, and there's Our just no question that we're eventually going to end up in a place where like like sp one, space so elitism is inevitable left. because as soon as a generation of children is born today. out there, they're going to be like, I it never knew anything else, you fucks, right? This is normal to me. So any sort of weirdness that to any tensions that these people inherit yeah is gonna it's like it's, it's the same shit we have today where people that are born today are like i have to put up with shit that has nothing to do with me fuck you stop treating me like shit because of the way i where i was born hey, listen. right hey, listen. and that's that's where that anger comes from look, look out the window you see that big blue thing yeah that's your mom that's your big space mom but then why does, that gave birth to you then why does mom treat me like shit I don't care. I'm throwing all this tea into the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Why does mom treat me like shit? You know? Because you don't listen. Because you never listen. But I was born into a world where I, I was born and kicked. See, this is why we can never let people go to space. Oh. Ever. That's the solution. There can't be space traders if there's no space. This game's pretty good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun.